Okay, so today we're going to start uh, talking about the uh, form um, square root of AX, uh, a squared minus x squared. Okay, so we're going to involve any integral involving this. So before we get into the, the derivation, the development of the substitution that we're going to use, uh, and the general idea of the substitutions, let's use this as an example. Okay, so if we look at this, there's there's nothing we have um, in our toolbox to integrate this thing as it, as it looks. Okay, so we're going to do a substitution, but the substitution we're going to be doing is a we're going to substitute using a trig function. Okay, and what we're going to use in this case is we're going to use u equal to 3 sine theta, okay? And we're going to use du then is what? It's going to be 3 cosine theta d theta, okay? Now, don't worry about why I'm using this substitution. I'm going to get to that later. But watch what happens when I do this substitution. So all I'm going to do is substitute in here with these, and now my integral becomes what? It becomes the square root of 9 minus 3 sine theta squared times dx here. Okay. Actually, this, I don't want you, I want x. That's what I want. <laughs> trying to do a U substitution. Okay. So then my dx is this, right? So all I'm going to do is substitute in for dx, and then I'm going to put times 3 cosine theta d theta. So now, okay, now look at looking at that, it's like, okay, um, still looks complicated, but let's simplify this. So now let's let's simplify this so I can distribute the two to both of these. Okay, so this integral now becomes the square root of 9 minus 9 sine squared theta times 3 cosine theta d theta, okay? And now let's factor out the 9. And this becomes 1 minus sine through squared theta times 3 cosine theta d theta. Okay, and let's, oops. Now, I can split this up in the two, the product of two radicals. So I can say this is the square root of 9 times the square root of 1 minus sine squared theta times 3. cosine theta d theta, okay? Now, this just becomes 3, right? The square root of 9 is just 3, and this is 3, so I can multiply those together. Oops. So, I take the square root of 9, which is 3, 
3 times 3 is 9, so this is going to give me this 9. Now, what is this? This gives me, well, if I use the identity, right, the Pythagorean identity, this is just cosine squared theta. times cosine theta d theta. And now, assuming that this is positive, right? Assuming that cosine is positive, then we could take the square root of this and we just get cosine. The square root of cosine squared is just cosine. Okay, so let's assume that cosine is positive. And so this just becomes cosine, and then cosine times cosine is cosine squared. So I'm going to end up with 9 times the integral of cosine squared theta d theta. And then what happens? Look, look what I have now. Now I can solve this by using what we learned, the techniques that we learned in using the product and powers of trig functions. Um, and that's where I'm going to stop. So, but look what we did. Well, we, we came from something that we couldn't do. We used a trig substitution of this and we got to something that now we can use some other techniques to be able to solve quite easily. Okay, and so next time, in the next video, I'm going to start doing the general idea and see, see where this is, how this is developed, and why we're using this trig substitution. Okay, see you then.